I think what the Indians are telling their fans right now is they are not only trying to win down the road and in the future, they're trying to win immediately. I'm Eric Heiss with the MLB.com FastCast. The Cleveland Indians have added Michael Bourne with a four-year contract worth $48 million. The two-time Gold Glove winner and two-time All-Star was one of the top players still available on the free agent market. MLB.com Indians reporter Jordan Bastion explains what Bourne can bring to the tribe. He brings versatility to the offense, great defense to the outfield. That's why he's a great fit for this Indians team that's looking to improve after a 94-loss season last year. Spring was definitely in the air on Monday as a handful of players showed up early for spring training camps as full club workouts are not scheduled to open until later in the week. Here's a few sights and sounds from Monday as teams welcomed in the start of spring. There's definitely a vibe uh, between the new uh, look, the new colors, the, the, you know, the, the new environment, a lot of new faces. There's definitely an, an energy in there that I can sense. It's palpable. It's different than what it was like last year. Well, obviously, we've got a tremendous opportunity for, for guys and, and, uh, in this camp. And, I think everybody realizes that. Woo! The Royals. Our goal is, like always, win the East and uh, and win the playoffs and go to the World Series and win. I mean, that's, that's that's exactly how we look at it. We take each game day by day, and if we play the best baseball in that 162 games, we're going to win. New L.A. Angels closer Ryan Madsen was shut down on Monday due to elbow soreness. The 32-year-old is working his way back from Tommy John surgery, which ended his 2012 season before it even began. Madsen is hoping it's only a temporary setback and is looking to be ready for opening day on April 1st. The Cincinnati Reds avoided arbitration with Shin Su Chu on Monday, inking their new outfielder to a one-year contract. Chu was acquired this offseason in a three-team trade with the Indians and D-backs. The Colorado Rockies avoided arbitration with Dexter Fowler, signing him to a two-year contract. Fowler has spent his entire professional career with Colorado after the Rockies drafted him in the 14th round of the 2004 first-year player draft. And Chris Carpenter addressed the media in St. Louis for the first time since Cardinals GM John Mosliak announced that he is unlikely to pitch in the 2013 season. Carpenter explained that he has no desire to retire just yet and holds out hope to return sometime this season. I'm going to continue to... to continue to work out, continue to do things to keep myself in shape. And, and, and if I feel like I can start throwing again and I'm cleared to start throwing again, I, I, I'm sure I'll, I'll probably will. For more on these stories and for complete spring training coverage, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.